Hello and welcome to another episode of Virtuous Woman. And as usual, you never, ever, ever know what you're going to get on this program. But this program is to inform you and educate you and give you something to go away with and leave you to think about something because we know that everyone has a virtuous woman in their life. Today's topic is Christians and modelling. Yes, Christians and modelling. Do not go away because this is an episode you cannot miss. We'll see you shortly. Coming up on Virtuous Woman. Today's topic is Christians and modelling. Yes, Christians and modelling. Do not go away. So whatever career you choose, whether it's in fashion, anything that you choose, the Father has put it inside of you. Fashion can be quite a very dark, Absolutely. It might seem glitzy and glam, Absolutely. but it can be also a very dark industry. But God knows you see soldiers everywhere so that you can shine that light within that industry. Hello and welcome back to Virtuous Woman. You know, I, you know, I, okay, I'm not going to say it. But I do really enjoy watching this program. You know, this program just kind of just lifts you up, edifies you as a woman. And at the same time, guys, you will learn something about your virtuous woman when you watch this program. You know, today's topic is Christians and modeling. And we are going to really delve in and get to the crux of should a Christian be a model or can they be a model? But today we are doing this with Christine. And welcome to Virtuous Woman. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely to be here. You know, Christine has so much to share with us. And, you know, she's really going to educate us and give us some information that, you know, if this is a line of work that you want to go into or if this is something that, you know, you want to help somebody, believe me, this is the program to watch. As usual, we always like to leave you with a beautiful scripture from Proverbs 31, which tells us all about that virtuous woman. And today I'm going to be reading from the King James Version, and it's Proverbs 31, and we're going to be reading from verse 10. Mm. And it reads, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. I mean, Christine, what does that scripture say to you? It's just saying how precious and how beautifully and wonderfully made we are. Amen. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, viewers. And it's so important as women of God that you need to understand who you are. Yes. You know, appreciate, you know, what God has put within you and use it to the fullness of, of his glory. Amen. Whatever you want to do, whatever career you're going into. But as Amen. we said earlier, we have Christine here. And she is really going to, you know, just seed us with some information. And once again, Christine, really appreciate you being on the programme. You know, Christine is truly a virtuous woman. She's been a Christian pretty much all her life. She has one daughter. You have three grandchildren. <laughs> I mean, don't even ask about age, guys. <laughs> you know, don't ask. But all we know is that Christian had a 10-year modelling career. You know, she's been out of the business now for about 15 years. Can you believe this? That, that's what I mean. That, you can't judge a book by its cover, as we know, truly. But, you know, she's been uh, in the fashion industry, as we know, and she still is, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, now she's a fashion model consultant and an international fashion show producer. You know, it's, it's amazing, Christine. You know, there's so many people that you know, see this business and do not realise some of the, the challenges and the things that we go mm. through. But, you know, first of all, you're, you're stunning. You know, Thank I you. look at you, I think you're absolutely stunning. Thank you. you. You know, and what I love about you, you've worked with some real top names and you are just so humble in the midst of it all. You know, and that's what I appreciate you about, honestly, Thank more you. than anything. You. you know, I appreciate the humbleness. You know, you know, when you hear it, anyway, we'll give you a little bit more about Christine. Anyway, first of all, just to inform our viewers, what is modelling? You know, people, you know, people use this word quite flippant, but what is modelling? Well, a model is, um, is, is someone that advertise a, a product, a designer, um, a campaign, um, sure. uh, media, Beauty. Sure, sure. That's what a model does. Okay. They, they, they're the representative of um, 
of a product or a designer. Right, okay. And obviously, um, you know, our program is Christians and models. Yeah. You, know, you know, can a Christian, a woman of God, be a model? Absolutely. Yeah, no problem at all. She has to know that she's called, but she can be a model. Amen. And, you know, you, you, know, you can speak from this angle because obviously you've been a Christian pretty much all your life. That's and right. you've been in the industry for mm -hmm. now, if you add in everything together, maybe about 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. So you are living proof of this. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, and, you know, just so that people are aware, I mean, what part of the industry have you been involved with? Uh, obviously, you've spoken about the beauty, the media, the fashion. You know, what, which parts have you been involved with just uh, in regards to that? Uh, my career took on, I started with um, um, Vivian Westwood. So I've been involved with um, fashion, fashion shows, uh, magazines, media, beauty mm -hmm. and, um, and videos. So I was blessed to, to do um, across the board. Okay, okay, all right. Let me just educate. So <laughs> just, let me just break it down because you're like just, okay. blah, 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 just flipping over okay. that. But the truth of the matter is, is that um, you started out with Vivian Westwood, mm -hmm. who, you know, for people that are in the fashion industry, you, you know, you know, or even if you're not in the fashion industry, you know, everyone should pretty much know who Vivian Westwood is. But... You know, you work with Video in Westwood, um, Armani, you know, is yeah, name a few I, others. Yeah, f <laughs> I, f for fashion shows concerned, yeah. yeah. I started out with Vivian, yeah. I worked with Armani, yeah. Dolce & Gabbana, um, I worked with um, Gucci, I've worked All right, with, all right, yeah. then let's just stop you there. Chris, because we could probably be here all day. All I'm saying to you is, is you've worked with a lot of the top yeah. industry individuals. Yeah. And then just in regards to the magazine side of it, mm. now if you can tell our viewers, you know, what magazines have you been involved with? Um, British Vogue, um, ID, Essence, Pride. Oh. Um, all quite right, a few. Let, all right, let me just stop <laughs> here again, because this is one of the supermodels in their prime. But anyway, um, let's go again. What about music videos? Who are some of the even the you know top names that you've worked with music video wise as well? Um, Michael Jackson, um, Heavy D. Um, there's been there's been quite Mick a Jagger. Number. Even Mick I know Jagger. some of them. All yeah. right, all right, stop, stop, stop. All right, we'll stop. All right, we're going to go. But basically, I think um, viewers, you get the gist. Yeah. So, you know, obviously, you know, she's seen a lot and experienced a lot. Mm. And obviously, I'm sure you can agree with me. It's quite a, a superficial business, isn't it? In some respects of it. Yeah, a, a, lot, a, lot of it, a lot of it is. And you really got to know who you are to be in this business because um, it is a tough business um, that we're, that um, the fashion in. So you really have to know that you are called and you have that kind of amen. stamina. Mm. Amen, amen. Uh, and obviously, as um, a woman of God, there must have been times um, when things got, you know, you're a woman of God and there's so much um, in the industry to offer. You know what I mean? Yeah, be, um, because, you know, being in an industry like this, you want to be um, um, one of the... The best. The, the, yeah, one yeah. of the best and one of the, the pack, so to speak. And, um, in the clique. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, yeah. you, you just really, um, you really got to really be sure of who you are and whose Amen. you are because the business is isolated and um, you can be isolated. You have to endure a lot of rejection because you'll be going up to castings among, with many, many other models. Sure, and, sure. And you have to develop that tough skin and because there is a lot of rejection in, in the business. And what about even dealing with some of the other women? Because obviously everybody believes they're beautiful and the rest of it there. Even some people are there and don't feel beautiful, but people tell them that they're beautiful, so they're beautiful, you know what I mean? How did you deal with even the other women around you? Because that well, must my, have been my sometimes thing because, a challenge. Yeah, sorry. Because I, um, I always knew who I was. Amen. And I was uh, always confident of who I was. Um, because the Lord... The Lord told me that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. So when I was say in, I was based in America for a, for a long time, mm -hmm. and a lot of the girls there, and especially women of color, were pitted against each other. Oh, please! And um, yeah, <sighs> there was always that comp competition. Wow. wow! And my thing was to go in and celebrate each other. 
Amen. And so I came in with a different outlook. Amen. So when you come in with that outlook and when you come in from a place of, of, of the Father, you, all you do is show love and, and, and then that sort of starts to break down the walls because when they see you arrive, they think, oh my God, not another black girl on the scene. And um, wow. not another woman of color on the, yeah. on the scene. But the industry was really good about setting people up against each other. Uh, yeah, and sure. it came to a point where people recognize, I don't have to be like that. Well, I wasn't like that, and um, and that really that really helped me. That's beautiful, yeah. <laughs> and that's what like our scripture at the beginning. You know, yeah. it's the inner first, yeah. then the outer. Yeah, and I think sometimes we really need to grasp that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, because people struggle a lot because the business does does feed on insecurity. Wow. And if you don't know who you are and whose you are, then you will have a problem. I like but that. But that is in any <laughs> career. Yeah, amen yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. If you don't know who you are and whose you are, then I'm going to receive that. <laughs> amen. Awesome. You know, um, obviously, you know, in the industry, like you say, you want it to be the best. You know what I mean? So, um, which is natural, I would have thought, for anybody. You know what I mean? You want to be the best at what you're doing. But obviously, there must have been times where, you know, people are asking you to do things that may be could have compromised who you was as a woman of God. You know, how did you deal with that? Yeah, obviously, because in, 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 this, in this business, they, they think any, anything goes. <laughs> exactly. But, um, but when you are walking a particular path, anything cannot go because we have to remember that even though we are in this world, we are sure. not of this world, and it's same with that with that business. Amen. And the and the reason I know that um, you're called to be in the business because you're called to to be a light. Amen. So so even though difficult jobs would come, and um, I'd ask to be asked to do difficult jobs, and I'd have to refuse. That is not for me. And even though um, you'd have like kind of arguments with your agent. Okay, okay. You'd have mm. to say, no, that, that job is not for me. You know that I can't do that job. I will straight up about um, who I am. Amen. And, um, and you, have to stand, you have to stand firm. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. You know, even if it meant them, um, them letting you go, releasing you from the books. But they, that didn't happen because God was always, always walking, before, with yeah, you. walking with me and he always went before me to prepare the way. That's absolutely yeah. beautiful. You, see, you hear that? <laughs> you can be a model, but yeah. at the same time, without compromising who you, do you not are. Need, you don't need to compromise um, who you are. And um, there are times where difficult um, questions and difficult situations are going to come up, and God always gives you a way out. Oh, well and the word always. tells us that there's yeah. always a way he out. Always gives you, always he a, always way gives you I, a way out. Yeah. Amen, yeah. amen. You know, and okay, I, I mean, it's, it sounds awesome. It sounds awesome. It yeah. sounds like you, you <laughs> to me, with this business, it sounds you truly need to know yourself. It's so, it's really yeah. clear. And it's you have really, to remember, really clear. Lot, especially this business, because a lot of the girls that, that are entering, um, they're young. They're sure. very, they're very, they're very young. Sure. And and you know, and their dream is to be on covers of a magazines, to walk the runways. Sure. You know, it's that quick, instant fame thing, and they want sure. to be loved, and they want to be seen, and they want to be ad adored. And and the the fact is, you can really lose yourself in a business like that, especially when everybody's telling you that you are beautiful, you're exactly. the next big, big thing, you're exactly. the next big star, but you're only wow. that to them until the next girl comes, comes along, along or the next guy comes along. So that's why you have to be so steadfast. And you see so many girls that don't have faith kind of just falter by the, the wayside. And um, I know what you mean, yeah. they end up with the, you know, on the other side with the drinks, the drugs, and, yeah. you know what I mean? And just, and just plain unhappy. Sure. Because they're, they're looking for an identity and they're, and they're looking for something that you will not find in the business. That's right. You cannot find you it. You can't fill no. that void with anything no. else. There is nowhere else to go for no. the void. No. And the thing is why I mentioned about the, the uh, you know, different, you know, people get involved with the drink and whatever, whatever. But it always seems to sometimes end like that for people um, yeah. in the limelight. And this is why it's so important, like you say, that you have to know 
who you are in Christ. Yeah. So you can be grounded yeah. and know that you're not swayed because there's different people coming at you from all different angles, isn't it? Yeah, like, and everyone's pulling you this way and that way. And then there's this, you have a danger of starting to feel entitled that, that you, that you, um, that you've earned this and you must oh, and you and you must have this and you must be treated because when you're a model everybody's people are doing your hair your nails exactly. your your clothes your yeah. your what you um you go into the best parties all these things sure. you're you're walking with you know what they consider the best but and then all of a sudden there's that danger like I'm entitled to this but God will soon it'll get you back you. on track <laughs> well i mean you know, the truth is, I mean, any regrets, because we're going to take a break shortly, but any yes. regrets? Um, no, because um, things, who I was then is not who I am now. Amen. And um, so I'm at peace about some of the jobs where I was kind of humming and hawing, should I sure, have done it or sure, should I do it? Sure. I, I'm at peace because I'm a different person now and God has allowed me to go through that, through that journey. Amen. So I'm able to speak on it. Amen. Well, listen, we are going to take a break. You know, do not go away because Christine is going to also give us some information about how to get into the business, but at the same time as well, continue educating us about the business, which we're so thankful for. So do not go away. We're going to be right back. We'll see you shortly. Coming up on Virtuous Woman. There are so many careers in fashion, Amen. from stylists, designers, Amen. casting directors, producers. I was really saddened by many models that will come in with these pictures that they've paid um, thousands and thousands mm. of pounds. Which they call, um, is it uh, open call? Open call, Okay. Yeah. If you can explain to our viewers what that is, but this is meant to be basically to help you actually find an agent, am I correct? Yes, that's right. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Virtuous Woman. Yes, Virtuous Woman is the place to be today. We are talking about Christians and modeling. And is it okay for a Christian to be a model? Well, first of all, the answer is yes, yes isn't it, Christine? Yes, it is. Who we have today sharing some amazing, amazing information and just seeding us and encouraging us for those that really want to take a big plunge into this industry. But we will continue because Christine is just going to continue just to, yeah, just to help us and let us understand that God is okay with this, right? Yes, um, but you have to really know that that's what God has put inside of you. Amen to that. Amen yeah. to that. Yeah. I mean, Christine, what does God say a little bit about beauty and, and things like that? Because, I, you know, what does well, it say God in the Bible? Because I know that, you know... Well, God I, always I, talks mm. um, about beauty when he describes, um, first of all, our creator is beautiful. Amen. Right? Oh gosh, and, isn't he just? <laughs> and he is, and what he creates is always beautiful. Amen. And if he made, he made us, he said, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm. That is, that, it, that is, that is beauty in, 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 in itself. itself. And if we're made in the image of him, how can we not be beautiful? How, yeah, can, how can we not be beautiful? How, how can we? <laughs> we're made in the image Amen. of him. So how can we not be? And, um, and I just want to encourage everyone that, Know the God that's inside of you Amen. because it, the beauty starts from within. Amen. And when that beauty and when you connect with that beauty, that's, that who is God that's inside of you, it just radiates Amen and to it that. touches everybody. Amen. So we must, we must know that there's a scripture in, in, in Psalm um, 139, it's one of my favorite, favorite scriptures scripture and I don't like to misquote scripture but he talks about how he knitted us together how he knew us before we were in formed our in womb. our mother's Amen. womb Amen. so so think about that he mm. knows every strand of hair Amen. on your on your head that is our God that is our mighty God the God of wow. the universe wow. and Jeremiah 29 11 talks about he knows the plans that he has for you and it actually says, I don't like to misquote, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, mm. thoughts of peace, not of evil, Amen. to give you a future and a hope. So whatever career you choose, whether it's in fashion, anything that you choose, sure. the Father has put it inside of you, and it's a future to give you hope. Amen. 
Well, praise God. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Christy. But it's so true. It makes perfect sense to yeah. me. Because yeah. I think that God needs, you know, us in every single every area sick. in yeah. this world, yeah. whatever the industry is. Yeah. You know, his man has to be there. Who's going to minister to these people? Who's yeah. going to get in there and help? God needs his soldiers everywhere. Amen. And in fashion. Fashion can be quite a very dark, Absolutely. It might seem glitzy and glam, Absolutely. but it can be also a very dark industry. But God needs these soldiers everywhere so that you can shine that light Amen. within that industry. Amen. So long as you're not compromising yourself. yourself. And so long as you're not using your vessel that he's given Come you to on. do things that he wouldn't approve Proof of, of. Yeah. you can be in that industry. Amen. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I love that. You know, okay. All right, so now we're going to move on. <laughs> and we're going to let the viewers know about, basically, uh, the different types of modelling mm. um, that there is. Because we know, I mean, Christine's giving me this information, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I, didn't, I didn't just know all of this. But basically, you've got fashion modelling. Yeah. Um, although I didn't know this, but actually. But anyway, you've got fashion modelling. And um, basically, you need to be a certain height for fashion modelling. Yeah, fashion modelling was what they call the editorial models. And cool. the editorial models are the ones that you see in the the glossy magazines walk the international runways are for designers and the big campaigns such as Gucci Prada those are those are what you call fashion sure. models and they're normally around five, five foot eight and over okay and they so start like about 15 years old and up right okay so you need to be about 15 year old 15 years old and up and yeah. basically you need to be at a minimum of five, five foot, foot eight. eight yeah okay yeah Okay, and if you can basically, well, you've basically explained anyway what, what the fashion modelling is. So yeah. it's the editorial side, run, runways yeah, and yeah. campaigns. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. Okay, and then you've got the commercial model. Yeah. Well, the commercial <laughs> model is um, no heights required for a commercial model. And um, a commercial model, you normally see them in your local advertising, print commercials, TV ads, and, and for a commercial model, and you need to have great personality. You have to be really outgoing. You should be able to act a little because um, you're usually um, called to play a role. Amen. So, and, um, and a lot of your work is done in, on TV. When you see all these TV commercials, that's what they called um, commercial models. And they work also in catalogs. So, okay, so there's no particular height for you, no. basically. You and a commercial model can work, you can see commercial models work up to 60 and, odd and over, wow. and men and women. So you, you have to really be honest with yourself and say, which side of the industry would I fit into? And those are the ones that you go off. You know, sometimes, you know, you have a, a calling or a pool that, you know, you, you know, you've got to be a model, you've got to be this, but you're not necessarily got the height, the looks, whatever. But what would you say to those? Well, I, I, I say, first of all, you, you really got to seek God first and really got to pray and know that it truly is coming from God, that he has placed, placed that inside of you. Um, and, and be honest with yourself. When you look at the, um, compare yourself to, to, um, to the fashion models sure. and look at the magazines, do I have that kind of height? Do I have that kind of body type? Mm. Um, and the commercial models, you know, am I outgoing? Sure. Do I suit that, that direction? Sure. Am I outgoing? Am yeah, I bubbly? Sure. Can, I, can I go down that mm. direction? Um, and then also consider if modeling is really not for you and you look at it and you say, mm, maybe not modeling is not for me because I, I, I really don't fit into for, to those okay. molds, yep. then start thinking about other things that you can do in fashion. There are so many careers in fashion, Amen. from stylists, designers, Amen. casting directors, producers, runway show. You know, I've made a career out of being an agent and a, 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 an international fashion sure, sure. show producer. So there's lots that they can do. There's things to do. Yeah. So just grasp that what Christine's saying, basically, because there is other roles in the industry that maybe the yearning is to get in there, whether it's as a I don't know, makeup artist, exactly. a wardrobe dresser, exactly. a hairstylist, yeah. and it goes on really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and they just have just as great careers and they travel Amen. the world. Um, depending on what end of the industry that you're in, you can have a really lucrative career. Okay. Now, you know, obviously um, you hear about 
people needing portfolios and things like that in order to enter into the industry. But what do you have to say to people that feel that they need to spend hundreds and thousands of pounds on a portfolio to be a mod? Do you know what I mean? To actually I join an agency. I say don't. Okay. Simple as that. You don't. You don't need the money. I was an agent for a very long time and I was really saddened by many models that will come in with these pictures that they've paid um, thousands and thousands mm. of pounds on. And the, f the truth of the matter is an agent will not use them because um, it, it, it doesn't do anything for them. So the best way for you to, to, um, to get what they call, you don't have a portfolio until you start working and then it's been filled with tear sheets. Okay. That is a portfolio. Just so we can break it down as well, because um, I know that you've got so much information yeah. that you could give everybody, you yeah. know what I mean? It, yeah. it, it's, it's quite intense. Even yeah. speaking with you on this, it's like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's so much I didn't know, some things yeah. you didn't know, but there's yeah. so much you didn't know, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, for people that are actually trying to get into the industry as a model, um, there are, especially the fashion uh, industry, there's a thing, what do they call, um, is it uh, open call? Open call, Okay, yeah. if you're going to explain to our viewers what that is, but this is meant to be basically to help you actually find an agent, am I correct? Yes, that's right. Okay, a lot of agencies, them. especially the editorial agencies, they have um, a day that's called open call, and open call is when you just go in without an appointment and you see an agent and they'll be able to tell you if you're right for their particular books or not so and all you need is snapshots you know you just have your friends your parents take snapshots of you um, head and shoulders and a full length in a t in, in close fit in close and that's what you go in in into the agency with you okay. should however call before you go into an agency to find out what time their open calls are okay and is this something that happens daily yeah yeah some daily. a lot of agencies have them daily um some will have them between 10 and 11 some would have them between three and four but it, it's for you to call up to find out and it, what you say is hi um can you tell me when you have open calls please Simple as that, and they'll tell you when they have open calls, and that's when you go Amen. in. Amen. So, yeah. viewers, catch that. So, if you are looking for somebody to take you on in their agency as a, a fashion model, it's important that you give them a call and make it really clear about what time they do this thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> and get down there. Yeah. Uh, and basically, like Christine said, you will need to have. Um, a head shot yes, a as well length, as a full length shot, shot yeah. and you will need to also have your details of um, yeah. your size, your measurements, your, your measurement height check. and your measurements, no makeup girls, um, just a little bit of lip gloss and maybe a tiny bit of mascara but no makeup at all and, um, and just if you've got long hair be able to pull your hair back so that they can see your see profile. Your yeah. Okay, and that's the thing is when people take photos for this, sometimes they think they all need to be all done up, no, you know, no, as a no, people, no, but no, no, no. You, we could never see the real you done no, up. Exactly. So. And in fact, the more makeup you wear, the older you, you look. So they just want to see clean, fresh skin. And um, and normally when girls used to come up and see me, sure. you'd, have, you'd have to ask them to take the, take the makeup off. Wow, yeah. wow. Okay. Okay, next thing is, uh, you know, obviously, you know, you've been in the industry for a long time. You've got a daughter. Mm. Um, you know, would you ever encourage anybody to actually go into this business? Yeah, I, 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 I always say yes, because but really know this is what you want to do. Also know that in this business, there's a lot of rejection. Also know in okay. the business that it can be lonely, but it can be a really great time. OK, yeah. right, we're hearing it. Well, yeah. you know, Christine is, I need to make it really clear because I need to read from here, but <laughs> Christine <laughs> is a model agent consultant, which is quite a broad role. Um, but if you can just break it down really quickly, just what that is. Okay, well, what I do is that um, I see potential models, I scout potential models, I help models get placed in agencies and, um, and agencies that are are starting up outside of the bigger markets like sure. London, Paris sure. and, and New York. I help them to start agencies so that they can, they can um, manage their own models and place them within the market. 
Awesome. So that just gives you a wrap up. And, and I just have to ask uh, my last question, which I just have to ask you, you know, how real is it that people actually get spotted? Oh, that is, uh, you know, in McDonald's, yeah. in the, you know what I mean, down the road, under the tube, underground, you know, how often does this A sort of large thing percentage of models get spotted. Um, when I was an international scout, I'd see somebody on the, uh, on the beach, I'd run after her and I'd get her <laughs> and, and sign her to an agency. But it's true, you have scouts walking the streets every single day, outside Oxford Street, um, top on. shops, you know, outside concerts, looking for the next big model. Wow, so take note. If this is what God has called you to do, please take note. But Christine, you know, I'm so thankful having you on the program. I feel oh, so privileged, you know, you are absolutely awesome. Absolutely stunning. I, I, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually feel yeah, really, really privileged even knowing you. And I'm just going to ask you, you know, just to leave the viewers with some encouraging words if you've got anything in your spirit that you might want to just say to them before we close. I, I just really want to encourage you really to seek God first and all things will be added unto you. And to know that you are called to do something and you are a people of purpose Amen. and he has placed something with inside of you. And don't spend your time going after something that he has not placed inside of you because that means that you're leaving that door open for somebody else. And that thing that you are supposed to do is not being fulfilled. Amen. So go out and fulfill your purpose. You are great, you are fearfully and wonderfully made, and you are a person of purpose, for you are chosen for such a time as this. Amen. Well, remember women, if you are watching this program, you are a virtuous woman. God bless you, see you soon.